Kapasayan, Mindanao, Pilipinas, Kibota, Kibotan. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, as the case may be. Magaganda rin sa Takna o Kapit na makita kini atong tapok-tapok media forum na matagbir rin sa itong pagkabuhato kini sa Cebu Business Hotel, Cebu City, Philippines. Ang atong uh, discussion karon ron, musintro, Nining usang kalihukan ng pasiundahan sa PHA, Philippine Heart Association, Cebu. Kaya lagi ka ron, buwan man sa uh, Pebrero, kiingon man nila na uh, heart month or buwan sa kasing-kasing or buwan sa kukma. Although kita na lang magkauyon nga, hindi lang kay uh, matag Pebrero lang tamang sa ulo kilutat sa adlaw or buwan sa kukma. It should be year long. Apan nag-ihatag uh, ang focus sa Pebrero, isip pagsaulog sa ilang itawag o uh, kining Heart Month. Mga doon na kalihukan ang PHA or Philippine Heart Association Cebu na magpasiugda sila rin ang ilang proyekto na itawag o Cardiac Risk Identity. The repercussions of being oneself. At doon na gituyo ron, aron masaktan, saktan na nato ng tanaw ron pinagi sa social media. Kung sa yun ang specific activities na pasyudahan sa BHA Cebu, ang sabda ang uh, community, ang katawan, makasabot o niya mong support o mong paluyo o mga abang sa ilang mga kalihukan. Ako ang inyong forum moderator sa Gusta Nilian, ang um, kuyong naturo niya ako ng kaupan sa Publishers Association of the Philippines or PAPI, Cebu Chapter ganyan na ron, si Wenzelen from the Freeman o Banat, O uh, si Director Sani Gabiana, who is responsible for uh, bringing us globally pinati sa kaimanan sa internet or sa social media, YouTube specifically. Ang ito mga dinapit ron, kini siya o sa ka-internist o cardiologist, o niya siya ang pangulo sa Cebu Chapter sa Philippine Heart Association, si Dr. Caroline Fermin. Okay, so welcome, Dr. O niya, lain sa mga dinapit na ito, internist o cardiologist di Hapon, siya mga Vice President, si Dr. Brett Patoktoy. Okay? O kanya, ang Secretary sa mga pundo, si Ms. Karen, Karen Andrino. Okay? So, ato na ang uh, atagan ng video na itong tulog ka mga dinapit to say their short opening statements. And then from there, o oh, subod na ta sa itong mga pangutana while we wait for the other media people to come. Una ko na ito ang Presidente, si Dr. Caroline Fermin. Doctor. May punta, datong tanan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Before anything, magpasalamat with ako o magitigaan ni ninyo o oportunidad nga to uh, promote our activities for February and during this forum, ng tapok-tapok sa tapok-tapok media forum. So as a backgrounder, um, Mr. Castadilla, Amo Ang organization has actually been uh, around since the early 1970s. No? Oh, okay. The PHA Cebu chapter has been around since the uh, 1970s and it is a group created by um, cardiologists in the city. So, Ang Amo Kim group ever since, Ang Amo advocacy is actually on education and promotion of health education among ourselves and our uh, colleagues in the medical world, as well as promotion of health among ourselves and our patients and the community. So, in February, this is actually our 16th year of holding the Philippine Heart Association post-grad course. So, we've been doing this and this is only one of the activities that we've been doing all year round to promote our advocacies. So, Brett, uh, Brett here is the uh, chair of the post-grad course that we will be holding come February 13. So I give the microphone to Brett so can, he can tell us more about the post-grad course. Okay, Dr. Brett. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So uh, every year, as mentioned, we will be having uh, the usual post-grad course and this is our 16th year and we will be discussing uh, about uh, heart diseases, okay? especially prevention of heart diseases as well as treatment. Okay? We will be inviting the uh, different uh, residents in the hospitals okay? and uh, postgraduate interns. Before we invited the nurses, but uh, lately we, we only invited the residents no? 
as well as the consultant. So every year we have this in different uh, uh, locations, no? venues. Okay, this year we'll be having it in uh, City Sports Club. Okay, so City Sports Club, February 13, okay, Friday the 13th. Okay, next week. So we'll start at 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, and at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We will be having different topics. No? Uh, we included uh, topics about athletes, no? as well as topics about uh, patients with uh, uh, OBGYN problems. No? Kaya ng mga mabdos, kaya ng problema sa kasing-kasing. Okay. Oh, kaya ng mga OBGYN. Oh, okay, yeah, kaya po sa namo. May nung doon na ko kay anong saan daw na doon ako giluaw sa asas ng hospital sa hindi. Kaya tayo din nung 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 worldwide ko, buti nga nung sa ito. Kaya nung may sexy kaya rin doon ako, siya sir, are you an OB-GYN? Gynecologist? Hindi ko nung 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 the participation okay, and how so, much? Uh, the people now are qualified to join this uh, uh, convention includes the residents, okay, oh. the medical practitioners, the internal internists, the family medicine specialists, no? My students, uh, 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 oh, medical, medical students. Yes, they yeah. are uh, yeah. included. And but the rate, the, the parties. parties uh, so, katong mga consultants, uh, usually, uh, they pay more than the residents. Ah, okay. You're in the practice of cardiology, no? Kaya sa kasing-kasing. Alam na mo na mga civilians ba? Kaya nandili, doktor. In simple language or term, kaya na masanda ko na video, doctors ko. Kung sa mga video ay usas mga pagi na ang buhat ko, atong buhat ko, aron kalikayan ang heart disease. Kaya na first and foremost, mga yung buhat ko ba? Maya kaya na asam na nungutan ako na actually that is also one of our advocacies niya. We would also like to to allow us to use this forum to reach our our patients and the people out there about the benefit of lifestyle modification. Lifestyle. Oh, lifestyle yun. So actually, nami kano na advocacy kaya ng tawag na to five two one zero zero. No, although this is not the only thing that we can do, but we hope na. With this, yeah, we place an acronym out of the link na to ng So what is 52100? 52100 is like an advocacy nga kung i-promote at kung improve atong lifestyle niya, kung decrease atong risk for cardiovascular diseases. Okay? Five would stand for at least five servings of fruits and vegetables in a day. Okay? A serving is about a cup full. So, kung atong pagkaon during the whole day, dapat mag-abot yung taan ng lima ka-cup full of fruits and vegetables. Okay? That's on a daily basis. Number two would stand for limitation of uh, TV or computer use for the most na na siya, two hours a day. Okay? So, sobra na yung ka na sa... Oh, balita mga journalists. Oh, mga editors, know. for example, na sige, sige, ito ba ang computer na sa kapila? Oh, kasi sa high hazard sa itong trabaho. Okay? Oh. Nga, malingkod na matubang ka sa computer. No? Oh. Actually, nga nang may advice na two hours is to actually limit our inactivity. Kaya ka notice na tanatas computer, tanatas TV, nalingkod rin kita. Oh, oh. Okay? So, mo na siya hazard design sa itong trabaho. So, kung naanaas na sa itong trabaho, it can be good to stand up every hour and walk, maybe go up and down the stairs just so to break the inactivity, okay? But recreational uh, video or TV, the most two hours a day. It would also be very good to promote this to our children, to our kids. Kaya grabe lang ano, mga video na ito mga anak na sige lang ito bangsa, video. No? So, the most two hours a day good for video and TV and computer use. And for one, at least one hour of moderate level of activity every day. So, on sa yung gusto buhaton, you should have at least one hour every day. Sayo baka, mag zumba baka, mag moderate level activity every day. Zero for 
zero cigarette use, no smoking. Gun, no? So it has been shown that actually, especially among the young, smoking is one of the culprits or one of the independent risk factors. Bisa na tong walay mga kaliwat, walay high blood pressure, walay mga diabetes. This is one of the most common risk factor for developing coronary artery disease, which can eventually lead to heart attack. So our promotion is zero cigarette or nicotine use. And the last zero is kini maigo tani tanan. Zero sweetened drinks. Okay? So kaming pag-inom na to. Soft drinks, kini mga bottle drinks nga taas in sugar content. So supposedly to advocate a healthy lifestyle, healthy cardiovascular lifestyle, maayog yun nga ako ni siya. Undangon. For the time being, maybe minimize, but ang among advocacy is for us to reach zero sweetened drinks. Okay? So again, 5, 2, 1, 0, 0. It's very easy to remember. Muna mo na itong guide every day. So, muna ang mong ipromote ron sa... Nino, ano? At least masayang kita. Pero sa iba mga tanan ni Uwen Silero ni Sunny, doon ang naging ng doktor ngayon sila na kana po nung red wine is good for the heart. Tinukod ba? Tinukod ba na siya? Okay. So actually, it's the alcohol, no? The limitation of alcohol, small amounts of alcohol a day would decrease your blood pressure as well as improves the cholesterol levels. So, dili lang inon nga ang red wine, pero ang limitation sa red wine a day. So, naku yung beer. Pwede nga po ng beer. Pwede sa po. Beer, as well as yung kag red wine, it's... 8 ounces of uh, red wine a day, okay? uh -huh. one shot of uh, hard drinks like whiskey, or two bottles of beer. So, okay. it's, uh, so it's the amount of alcohol that you can use to improve your cardiovascular function. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's mo mo increase na pag mo blood pressure, no? Mo increase na pag mo heart rate, no? So nasa kanya ako kada sa ito. Okay. Sige, arin na tayo sa mga pangutahan na kasi yung interesan. Ah, unang pangutahan na si Sir Owen Sinan. O the free man. Okay, thank you, Dr. Hartman of February. Parang, lang, usang pa magka-apintar pa na sa pagdano sa table na pilyon sa tumahar, ma, ada, 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 perspektif ke suma, ini maka, kita riwayat bahasa, wala itu kenang, bantan itu tadi sepi, saya kasih, 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 coronary artery disease kung ay mga barado maglag sa kasik-kasik stress ka kasi predispose to kini ato ang acute coronary syndrome or atake sa kasik-kasik pero kung malipayo ta gamay atong stress pinagis bugma makatabang kuna siya na hindi ito ato kasik-kasik so sa ato pa bugma maka ayos kasik-kasik hindi pala hindi sa tulungan hindi pala hindi pala hindi pala hindi pala Ang ato mga farmers, terming kawang prutas, vegetables, terming. Pero sa ayon mga kapareha naman ang gagal sa nabuhin na tuloy ng sugar, o sa kanabukin. Ang sabi ko na ito. There are actually multiple risk factors for developing cardiovascular problems, okay? Diet being one of the factors that we consider, but na ay laing mga risk book or mga factors na makapa-increase sa risko sa isa ka tao na mag-develop po for many problems. So, isa na na ang kaliwan. Okay? So, in fact, during our most recent, uh, uh, the, uh, the post-graduate course that we'll be holding on February 13, we will talk about, you know, predispositions, genetic predispositions na maka makapa-favor of development of coronary artery disease or cardiovascular problems. So, other things that can affect one, you know, not necessarily lifestyle, being a farmer and being one living in the city. 
kaliwat. No? Especially, kung natin kaliwat, no? less than 45 years of age, na naan ay problema sa kasing-kasing, that increases our risk for cardiovascular problems. Another one is age. No? Ang edad, kung usaka na lang ito, 50 above sa babae, iba sa lalaki, or 60 above sa babae, kung usaka na po na ito ang risk ko. Another one is just being male. Mas taas na itong risk ko than being female. Okay, so, other factors, of course, that can be practiced in the provinces and the rate would be smoking, no? and presence of other problems like diabetes, obesity, and these are all factors and others na makakontribute sa pagdagalog sa heart disease. So, in activity, so kung naata sa syudad, pero active kayo ta, pwede nga mas malimit na to ang risk ko, or kung naata sa probinsya, pero ako tayo kibuhat, wala tayo activity, then that will also increase our risk for cardiovascular problems. So, other than diet, which is a very important uh, lifestyle uh, factor that would de uh, determine our uh, risk for cardiovascular disease, there are other factors that can contribute to the development of heart disease. Yeah, but, uh, if I may add, no? ang lalaki mas mubo ang kinaboy sa babae. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing because of is progen, no? They are protected during the first 50 years. Yeah, kung may nupos na sila, ang ilang chance of uh, getting hypertension, diabetes, parihan na sa babae. Okay. So, kita ng mga lalaki, maghibay-hibay din tayo na. Kaya yung mabot ang panahon ng nipupos. President of the Philippine Heart Association Civil Chapter, Dr. Brett Patokoy, the Vice President, and si Karen Andrino, ang Secretary. Sir, Greg, you're welcome to Thank you, Sir Sam. I'm welcome to my doctor, Sir Sam. What is my best food for the heart? What is considered to be the best food for the heart? Um, I can promote the food for the heart. High in grains, okay? less in uh, fat, and less in salt, okay? Uh -huh. So, generally, when I put tra fruits and vegetables, fish, no? In terms of uh, 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 meat, uh, white meat or chicken, when I pan it, or um, sa baboy without the uh, fat, uh -huh. and relatively less on the uh, beef, knowing that we eat mo separate um, fat sa, sa uh, meat sa uh, beef. Okay, so generally, grains, low fat, and low salt. Okay, so... Ano ba na ba himalas nyo kayo? Oo. So, likayan nyo kayo? Likayan. So, ang um, um, limitation with the salt, no, gamay, you can get one pinch, no, that's two grams of salt a day. Dali na kung saka ng blood pressure. So, gamay tayo for all the food that we eat for that day. Uh -huh. So, kaya po mga fish na that go matuna when they reach in omega-3. So they uh, uh, increase your good cholesterol, no? So kung kanon mo ganyan mo, ang recommendation, kung kanon pa kung kanang uh, omega-3, dako kayo ng fish kaya yung mga kanon in a day. Mm -hmm. So they are making the small, no? Kailan na i-concentrate in those uh, tablets, no? Mm -hmm. So that's good for the heart. Poly and saturated. Another one is uh, salt, no? Uh, we think that um, salt lang sa atong pagkaon na ito ipuno mo na na siya atong required for the day, but... Katong iodized or kanin? Pwede lang iodized because of the addition or the benefit of iodine, no? But oh. we also have to consider na kanang processed food actually. The sodium content adds to our salt intake. So it's better kung sa fresh... Sardinas, na lang. Sardinas, dilata, bacon, no? So, taas okay. kayo siya salt or kanang mga noodles na ito, oh. kanang... Uh, ng tubig, eh? Taas kaya na siya sodium. So, all this would actually add to your salt intake during the day. So, it would be good kung makalimita kung fresh food. Kung palit ganita sa grocery, 
we always look at the sodium content of the processed food that we buy. Kaya ka ng sodium, asin na siya mag add up sa ito ang salt aging. I see. Okay. Sunny, nakay po tayo na saan? Okay. Sir, ang kwento ko lang. Ito lang pa kung magkano ang mga food supplement promoting food for the heart. Is it advisable or how would you comment on that advertisement on food supplement? Okay, so right now with American Heart Association, the European Society for Cardiology, ang atong di-promote yun because it is study-based, meaning it has been proven to modify. No? So let's say you have a few thousand patients given this food supplement and the other not given any food supplement. It turns out at the end of five to ten years' time, pariha na silang luha. No? Pariha na silang luha na ito ng cancer, na ito ng o... Uh, cardiovascular problem. So, in other words, na ay mga supplement na wala agad siya kikinhanglan na because it doesn't actually offer benefit. No? So, what we really uh, promote as doctors are uh, study-based and guideline recommended na uh, in terms of uh, medications or uh, tablets that we give to our patients. Kay we think also of the cost and the benefit. So let's say a patient na tumar o tambal or isang katableta kada atlaw sa sulod sa pit, pito pulo katuig. Unya after the end of ten years, makita sa studies mo ang ideal beneficio. So in terms of hospitalization, parihara. So you look at the cost of seven ten years time na naginom na imong patient niyo o isang kabutang na wala na yung benefit. So when we advocate something, no? It has to be study-based. And for now, there are a lot of supplements that do not have any scientific basis at all, but they have claims, no? Claims na isang doktor, claims sa certain individuals who are taking it, that may alter sila sa inang life. It's just that in the medical practice, claims are not enough. It has to be scientifically proven for us to promote something, okay? So, that is sometimes why that a certain supplement would have no therapeutic claim because it doesn't actually have a study to support its use. And to the Ghana, if not all, it is still a big business at the business. Mona, Mona, I have no approved therapeutic claim, so? So, you can book some claim, but then you don't have to tomorrow, so what? No approved therapeutic claim, so what? Kaya ng mga food supplements, everything na himuon ng mga tambal, ang una food supplement, there are phases. So first, kanang i-ask it, talaman ang mga ingredients na makaayos sa tao, na sunod sa upad sa animals, there are phases. Kung abot na ganit sa phase sa mga tao, niya, kung siya advantageous paggamit sa mga tao, dahil na tao na ayo compared sa na side effect, they become, no? medications treatment. Pero wala ang dali na maagi sa face na experiment sa mga tao, then, hindi ka maagi na kayo mahal mag-ayo. Kung ang clinical trial, it would take some time, 5 to 10 years ang gawas na siya, bayan po ka sa kanya person na imong pati ko na nangatambal. So, cause a lot. So, hindi mo kakwarta na yun. So, ang mahi mo, ibutang sa big part na sila ng food supplement. So, na yung ba'y maayong tuon, na yung ba'y makakakibalo ba? Ito, wala yung basis. Kaya usually, ang tambal, yung itabulize mo ni hapon sa lawas, na huwag maging na yung tuon. So, ang kalaghanan is, makakibalo ka ito sa atay o sa pinis. Ang sayo. Doon, nakay, para doon ka. Ang tao ko, ano ba, ng high blood pressure, abnormal lang ang high blood niya, ano, abnormal lang ang tukot niya, hindi na normal. Kini mo apik mana sa tungkuan heart abnormality sa blood pressure. Okay, so naana yung kina na lang mo kaya yung vascular content mo so normal ang kasingkasing, no? Yung padang lita one of the risk factors, no, is genetics. No, kung nakakay pa disposition na hypertension, kaya mo kaya ikon na to atong ugat gigagatia ka ng kaya yung takatuig kaya lagi nga na to kaya mga hypertension, no? May mga primary is about 30 years old to 60 years old. Hindi may mga high blood na mukulog na try tayo sinko ka pa pa mangkog. O, may mga tumod na yun na usahay sa kaliwan. Ang atong uga, di na tayo ma-expand. Ma-expand sa'yo. So, 
primary hypertension, tagaan na kang tambal sa blood pressure. So, naapod tayo yung ikon ng mga limits sukod sa normal ng blood pressure. So, magsubod na kayo yung BP 140 over 90, niya kaluha ka beses kag ikuhaan ka anak, malibel na kita kayo blood pressure. Mukha ka gulong ka ng muscle, no? Nga kung panangitan, sige siyang mahabo, sige siyang pagkatan, no? Muda ko siya. Okay, muna sa heart. Kung ang pressure sa iyong ugat taas, ang iyong heart, naturally, mo kwan po siya mong adapt no, sa blood pressure. So, mo kubang po siya. May yung taang muscles na to sa gawas kay nindo tanaw niya, mas hindi ko taang heart, kung muna ko, dili kayo siya ka pump of blood. Okay? So, managingan na itong hypertrophy. So, later on, kung panaglita ng sakali ni mong blood pressure, mabot yun na ang time kung dili treated, muhina yung heart, mawikyan siya. Managingan na heart failure. So, mas maayo at as early as possible, muna bisa ko na gibati, mas kuyaw na may gibati, mataas ang blood pressure. Okay? Kaya at the end of the day, mukha ko sila ang mas taas ang risk, no? Ng heart attack or stroke or mag heart failure. Doktor, kung doon ay gitawa ko, enlargement of the heart, doon ay gitawa ko, kasi kasi, doon ay siya yung gamay ka, kasi kasi. O so, huwag ba na siya? Ah, Technically, it is a gamay because ang ato ang uh, modification sa kasing-kasing is mo develop siya ang muscle or mo stretch ang yung muscle and biyaya ang kasing-kasing. Uh -huh. Either mo baga ang kasing-kasing or mo stretch ang biyaya. And there are two types of them. Either ways, extreme na gani ang pagkabaga sa kasing-kasing or mo expand kaya siya ang biyaya ang kasing-kasing, both would lead to heart failure. Tanang gi observation sa upan na coffee drinkers ngayon sila magpalpitates lang, minom sila lahat coffee. O sa manan siya? Tuhod? Caffeine is a stimulant, okay? And the response of the body when it is stimulated is for the heart to pump faster. Una nga, hindi pas pa sa pitik sa kasing-kasing, bati yung sa pasyente nga, nagpalpitation siya. Nga kuya o ka, ang sa manan? In a patient with a predisposition sa cardiac problem, let's say, naa siya yung problema na. No? Kung paspas ang pitik sa kasing-kasing, whether it's because of coffee, activity, stress, this can actually be disposed to heart attack, no? Especially at naman ang adrenalina, na may patagugat, no? Na na tayo problema. In the younger patient, maybe it will just cause some discomfort, kaya kung pag-itake siya, but maybe not a heart attack. Oo. Kanang, ang upang doktor, hili kayo sa kanang maraton o kanang magdagandagan, na may nag-iusor ng kanang maraton, na kayat long, Kung sa may idea ng duration sa tao na modagan, ano lang yan, hardly remove the work. Di mahapot tayo. Actually, uh, we have kind of guidelines. No? So, for our age, no, it's based on age. Natay limit sa kong heart rate. So, okay. hindi mo palagyan. So, as we grow older, ang atok kong limit ng heart rate magkaubos. Mm. Okay, so nanay formula. Okay. So, okay, ito, kung palagita ng 60 years old, ang imong limit ng its heart rate that is 160. Gawas, ako, 20 years old, ang imong limit is 200. Uh -huh. Okay? So, makita nga na nato kung magbutang tao ka ng mga monitors. Okay? So, ka ng mga mo, lapas na na ang heart rate na magkawanta na sige siya kung gipush to the limit. No? So, ang ato yung idea is 85% of your maximum heart rate mo na imong i- uh, sa exercise nga ako. Ano lang daghanan mo yung gawas ng mga cardiac monitors para ma-measure. Okay? So, when we do 10-minute exercise test ka ng mga aman, mo lang na ang basis kung kung sa rabiol ihunong ang exercise kaya nakabot na siya sa limit sa yung heart rate. I see. So, mga ganda sa age bracket din. Yes. One thing about athletes is well-trained athletes. No? The heart has a capacity to uh, actually um, withstand no? heavy levels of activity provided well-trained ka. Now, a well-trained athlete about 85%. So that means, kung pas-pas ka siya about 85%, dili kayo trained yan lawas. Okay? So what we really advise our athletes is what? There should be proper screening. No? Before you come of so good of heavy level activity, na have proper screening. Kung wala ba yung problema kasi Another one is proper training. So there has to be gradual training. Aro ng atong lawas, ang atong kasing-kasing, 
we'll be able to cope with the physiologic changes that occurs during high levels of activity. So, kung di ta train, unya mo kalit ka ang nagdagal, isa three lang ka kilometers, basi nung naimita po nyo, tumod kay dili ka na. No? Parihas makina, anarong yun na inaglawas, kung saan niyo mo ibuhat ang heavy level of activity. This year, PHA Cebu chapter also launched sports cardiology, okay? So we launched, this is actually a um, uh, special interest in some cardiologists because we see that there are a lot of uh, individuals, young individuals, thinking oh, walay problema sa kasing-kasing, walay problema sa lawas, and they indulge in high levels of activity. And as it turned out, we drop dead gut during a marathon and these things. No? So, it would still be better to have good screening in terms of cardiovascular and overall health status and training. So, naatakaroy yung mga advocates sa among cardiologists and sports. And mga heart aches, mga heart failures, na naman yung mga hereditary effects. Okay, our recommendation is actually about the quarenta. Now, ideally, naano dito yung regular yearly or annual check-up. Okay? So, but for patients, okay, younger patients ideally kung natay family predisposition, okay. So now if we've had high predisposition, family predisposition for hypertension, diabetes or juvenile diabetes or obesity, these are factors na dapat na sayuta ng kita sa tumutor para pa isahin sa tumutor kasi because these are factors that predispose to early cardiovascular problems. No? So, uh, what is recommended is we do it every year. Tanang sa cholesterol, sugar, and when the age requires, maybe a stress test. No? An ECG is also required. So, and kung panalitan na agad, ito mga pasyente pinato nato na ay um, mga kaliwat na nangamatay sa cardiac problem below 45 years of age, Ideally, early ito yung nag-check-up sa doktor. Hindi magpaabot o kwarinta kung saan makikato sa doktor. No? So as mentioned, early family history of uh, a family history of early coronary artery disease problems, hypertension, primary hypertension, diabetes, juvenile diabetes, obesity. These are factors that can uh, maka-increase sa itong risk so early ito ang makikato sa itong doktor for, uh, for check-up. Okay, itong isa ka question na na may predisposition na itong heart failure. Okay, naihingan lang ako o ganun na related cardiomyopathy. No? Meaning, ang heart, mong kalit lang siya o weekend, no? Dilik ka high blood, dilik ka, uh, ang singalan na rin, diabetic, no? Nya, ang edad, batalon pa, nya ang heart, mong kalit lang siya weekend ang muscles, okay? Naanay mga kaliwat, no? So, sa akin, we have to dig it into the history kung nakapag sila yung kaliwa kayo nun, Anna. Okay? So, kung sa akin, ang symptoms sa nang kalit lang o kinihina yung gawas, kung mag-lisod sa yung kawa, no? Then, din nakalang kaong layo, okay? Na magtulog magandi, yung kalit lang din doon kay Pagkasan. So, heart failure. Mga symptoms sa heart failure. So, you know, ang kalikuban nyo ka ng hypertension, makapungod din ang heart failure. As I mentioned, kung hindi matanggal. Diabetes, tulad kayo mga para ang mga ugat, makakumot niya po heart failure. So, smoking, no? It's an independent risk factor for one heart failure niya. Okay, so, sanitary lifestyle, no? So, dagan tayo, dagan na kayo karun nga, every year, mukhang naibag po nga risk factor nga makinitaan, ma-identify, nga kayo, hindi mo naman ako ba nga, huwag mong yung risk factor na yung kalit lang. Okay, so, napanit tayo other risk factors na wala siguro kayo na ibaw ito. So for now, we have to prevent this kind of risk factors. So in Angland, that's what is our goal, no? Education and our young, no? Young, no? Doon ang may follow-up na Ryan Valdana said, sa usahe sa mga magbabalak na, may mo na ang mga magbabalak. Kung mahibo pa lang na akong Abulihan ang ako sing ako kasing kasing ayon mo makita ang ako pagbalik pagibig niya sa tapa abulihan mam tinuray ba o kuna na ba y gingon nga pagbalhin sa kasing kasing the transfer o kana kita mo heart transplant pwede ba ng ibalhin ang sa kasing kasing natutusok sa katawo o whatever 
Do not buy banana, do not buy this at all. In the States, it's being done, no? the heart transplant. But um, there seems to be a shortage of the donors. And in terms of long term, ang pag-sustainer sa kinabuhi, sa nakadawat, sa transplant, maragili po kaayos siya promising. But there are a lot of technology right now. We have the artificial heart, no? It is a, yes, nya. Punan lang siya ang artificial heart. It seems to be more ilang ginabuhat ka lang more than the transplant, no? So, but it's big lang in the States, of course. So, there's an artificial heart na i-attach siya itong major arteries niya mo ito yung pitik para sa pasyente. No? Niya, katong palyado na kayo nagkasig-kasig na apagihapon sa lawas pero dili na ito siya mo ibasihan sa pagpapos sa kasig-kasig. That's what they've been doing now rather than the transplant from a human donor. Doktor, karang di tawag ko pacemaker. Ang saan lang siya? Ay, ito. Ang ka. May labot na sa kasig-kasig niya ko. Ah, sa kasig-kasig. So, may kanang cardiac pacemaker, no? Mura na siya kung di. Diri pa sa ito, ah. Muna yung biko. Ah, natay additional sa biko. Palaglitan, mo hinay na. O, mo hinay na ang guntahin sa imong ha. Pacemaker sa heart, your inherent pacemaker, no? Kaya mo patikman yun ang normal apitik sa itong heart should be 60 to 80. Okay? So, mo below na ganun na acceptable pa ng 50. Okay? So, mo below na ganun na ang 50, then makompromise na ang imuhang blood flow like kaya kung less than 50, di na kayo kaabot ang circulation sa brain. So, ang uban na na, magkalit na lang kakulapan. Okay. Yeah, ang heart, kung hindi po na siya ganang na hinay kay heartbeat, kay kung hinay, magpuno siya ang blood, kutasan ka. Okay. So, nalagay kay symptoms na tungod sa hinay ng heartbeat, then you need a pacemaker. Okay. So, a pacemaker, ibutang na ito ang heartbeat na 60. Okay. Then, para ibubos sa imong heart, inherent heartbeat, siya po yung pitik, siya po yung ilis. Okay. So, palitan na rin kung mag-gone out, na ilain maka-generator. Okay. But pacemakers, mao niya po, naanak sa limitation. So, naanak sa pila ka years. Kaya pati niya mo na siya. But the good thing is, kanang, they are very small na kayo. Okay. And under the skin, na yun, mahal-mahal na ang pagpuntang sa pacemaker. Maras, kardinal, bidal mo na anak. Yes. Kanya, masa lang, maras doon ay limitation. Anak ng mga Yes, okay. Public places. Yes. Magnetic, no? Magnetic. Magnetic. Uh, uh, field. Uh, Alam na, gumawin sa microwave. Okay. Uh, uh, pero the new pacemakers, ilan na nang nasa, ilan na nang na, nasa kumbent ng uh, problem, no? So, kanang mabas sa una, hindi view ka kadala ng cellphone. So, karang pwede na. So, uh, the other side. Okay. Okay. Look up ang mga uh, pahunta na. Uh, okay. Sir Ed, Ms. Pina. Uh, anyway, ako po, I'm interested in the question that when I was young, I was diagnosed with enlargement or rheumatic, but you know, it's like you outgrow that, but I don't care about that. You know what I'm going to do? Rheumatic heart disease. Ang rheumatic heart disease is produkto na siya sa infection sa niyato. So there is rheumatic fever. Unfortunately, rheumatic fever affects some of the bowels at the kasing-kasing. So, Tungod kay madaot ang bangbila sa atong kasing-kasing, either dili na siya mo abli o maayo, ngunit tawag na itong stenosis, or dili na kayo siya mo sira, hungaw na siya, ngunit tawag na itong regurgitation. So whether you outgrow it or not would be dependent on the severity of the bangbilar problem. Okay? So, kung kipot siya, usually mo progress ni siya, depende sa asa na pita ang location sa bangbila, mo progress ni siya, especially kung moderate to severe, no? Kung niya, kung moderate to severe, by the time maabot kung 30 o 40 ang pasyente, bisag ang infection na nahitabo during the teenage life sa pasyente or even younger, then at 30 to 40, naanas siya yung manifestation. Yes. Kung niya, in fact, mag-heart failure na na sila sometimes sa the fourth decade of life. But if it is very mild, just mild thickening, then maybe muna ilang iingon nga i-outgrow. But if it is truly a rheumatic heart disease, no? Kaya kung tumunta na magpuntag mo sa mga basis sa diagnosis, if it's truly a rheumatic heart disease, then it would warrant a good follow-up. Some medications to delay the rate of progression. Kung niya, kung panalitan na tubig yung type ng heart reverse severe, maabot yun siya pananong na manginhanglan ta 
na ilisan ng valvula pinaagi sa heart uh, surgery. Okay. Okay. Pag-identify niyo kung gamating kung yun siya, you should do the test that uh, to the economic studies. Ah, yeah. Yes. Masan, eh, kung... To the economic dito ko, nagpag-pag-pag-pag-o. Okay man, okay man. Kaloy si Noo. Kaloy ha, twice to last last year or three years ago. So, na pala yung kasing-kasing na pa? Ako kayo ba? Ang large man. Bulong kayo kasi kumpano. So, maybe it's not a rheumatic heart. It can be due to other things. My my other physician. Okay, I suffered a mild stroke last 2000 to three years ago. Yeah, and I'm okay, okay, man. But why are there restrictions? Because you know, I stopped smoking ten years ago, and when I'm booked at the doctor, sir, when the doctor said, "I'm not booked," sir, do you? Mahigupa pa mga anak kasi kasi kasi. So you know. Isa't pagkaluhan na tulog. Oh. Okay pa lang kasing-kasingan. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hindi na siya sa sawang na ilang palabi. But when is a kuat ka nang itawag kong heart bypass buhaton? And is it really necessary for those having from the issue of their heart? Of course. Ano siya ito? A heart bypass is when magkuha ka ng ugat dari sa tiil, no? Sa atong ugat sa tiil, mura ba o, let's say, hindi mo tag overpass? Okay, so, kaya ang bag, bangilad, talambang road, traffic na tayo, di na kaagi ang ato ang sakyanan, hindi mo tag overpass. So, a uh, bypass uh, surgery, usually ang atong source sa graft, di mong kaugaling ugat, Wow, ang diri sa ato ang matiis, no? Mm. It is a vein. Wow, ang naman sa matiis. I-attach na ito sa atong aorta, which is the biggest blood vessel from the heart to the body. And then, atong ikabit dito, atong i-bypass, that's why it's called bypass, ang baradong aungan. Arong ang dugo, gikan sa aorta, muad to sa muscle na dili na masuplayan mong dugo, arong tungon sa baradong. Now, there are indications that it's an anatomy of the heart. Okay? Now, the surgery is not without its risk. There are people who die during the surgery. Okay? And it is not low cost. It is an expensive procedure because of the technology that is required to make that surgery successful. So, what is the indication? The indication is that we only do it when it is truly beneficial despite the cost and despite the risk. And what would be the indication? Now, patients na naanay mga bara sa ugat, sa kasing-kasing. Now, usually, these patients are determined pinaangi sa angiogram. Now, in patients na naanay isa, duha, o niya makuot pa dito, maabli pa, pinaangi sa what we call an angioplasty with stenting, then that's what we do. But in patients na, let's say, ang location sa bara, lisod ko uton, or tulo na kabad vessel ang barado or upat, then muhatag na tanig recommendation for a bypass, no? It is not done without its indication because it has its associated risk and it is costly. But when it is done at the proper indication, it is life-saving and it is very beneficial for the patient. Yes, I'd like to add, no, that our CEBG, Kukunagi Artagin Bypass Grafting, is done in our hospitals. And it's uh, good that we have already the Z package, no? We started it on uh, at Vicente Soto, the bypass, and Philhead already approved the Z package for our Philhead patients. What's on the Z package? Is it so good? Z. Okay, the Z package, actually, it is a government program to support through Philhead coronary artery bypass grafting. Nagpila na karoon ang coronary artery bypass? 800 to 800 to a million, no? May isa ka bypass. So, yes. So, karoon na ay program ang movement, no? But it is only being given in government hospital. And karoon sa ginoon diri sa Mrs. Soto Memorial Medical Center na anata ma-apply na ng tributary package. So, atong mga pasyente na financially constrained pero maginahaklan o bypass, then we can ma-refer na ito sa SOTO for the procedure. They still have to come up with certain amount but a lot 
less kumpara sa 800,000 to a million na kinangin na ito sa Mga panelists na roon sila si Dr. Caroline Fermin, the President of the Philippine Heart Association Cebu Chapter, o si Dr. Brett Bakotoy, the Vice President of Philippine Heart Association Cebu Chapter, o niya si Karen Andrino, pagmang ko ni Max Daluido. He's just the secretary. So we're discussing about Lagman, Pebrero, o ang mga maagi ang kalikayan ng sakit sa kasing-kasing. Sige, sir. A point of balance na niya. You're related to Dr. Belfin. Fermin mo ni siya. Fermin. Dr. Inno, I married the youngest son. Ah, ni Dr. Belfin. The first name is Delphine, oh. Fermin and Delphine, but he was also a cardiologist. He was a uh, cardiovascular surgeon, the yeah. first in Cebu. Yeah, because uh, I met her uh, then, met her from Casa Una, I used to call her him. Oh. And, Doc, I didn't think I was in the book of Toy. 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 And, I was in the book of Toy. And, I was in Max and Lina. You are all with me. Bisa, 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 Association of Chapter. Now we, now we, activity every, every year, you know, every Valentine's. Heart, heart pump, you can't say that. So actually our activity, as I have mentioned earlier, no? Ang Amo Organization, this is an organization created by cardiologists, practicing cardiologists in the city. There are more than 50 members as of this time. And then we started in 1970s, yeah. Beginning every February, we have a surge, the pandemic activity, but actually all year round, all year round, na agin may activity sa among advocacy uh, para sa among kawalingon to promote or like to continue medical education for the cardiologists, internists, for the residents, and for the cardio fellows in training. And we also have activities, a lot of activities for our patients and for the community to promote cardiovascular health. So, kini lang Pebrano, February, daghan big activity because it's hard month. But all year round na ang activity for cardiovascular uh, promotion. The news of that is June Reyes of DYRD, another uh, member of PAPI. Kung wala na, no, you're right, no? Question? May tungo si Mungo, may lakapag kay kasing-kasing. I have only one question. To take care of your heart, when you are in Kanpun, when you are in Wahatun, so that we keep our heart healthy and young at heart like me. So, 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 yeah, two is two hours only. Uh, um, maximum, no? Monitor, no? Uh, computer, uh, TV, no? Gadgets, no? Two hours only. Yeah, one hour of moderately strenuous exercise daily. One hour. At least, no? Oh, okay. Then zero to smoking and zero to sugary beverages. So, one hour, yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Kaya ba may mga uh, two hours lang at ubang sa monitor o sa, sa uh, computer, for example? How about ka ng mga call center agents? Kasi kaya pila ka oras lang sa mga lingkod. Sa ito pa din ang risk of... Actually, there are actually a search of studies on shift workers like call center employees, uh, no agents. So. There are research and studies because it seems that the change in lifestyle has uh, promoted also certain risks in terms of developing cardiovascular disease. Sa una, makakita mo yung trite paan news. Pabalik-balik ko na na ako screening kay nag-hypertension. Di pa may mutuo ng hindi na bata pa kaalim. But it seems that when you look at the physiology, the shift worker, mawala na ang evening o morning, you're seated in front of the computer, these are hazards of work. So, daghan na kahit ang mga pasyente, yung abadan mo pa, especially call center agents na tagas ng blood pressure. So, it still go back to lifestyle. Mawala na ang morning and evening biological cycle. At the same time,
same time, naglingkod ng pagkatunay. So as I have mentioned earlier, um, ideally, we limit it to two hours, no? But because of hazards at work, na ako na, trabaho mo na na to, then we advocate that maybe you cut your mga one hour in between, mo balog ka, mo sa katanao ka sa habdan, no? And then you go back. Just so, dili ka naglingkod ka. Oh. In addition to that, that I can maglingkod ka ng lugay, like anak sa ibang plano gani, na lugay tayo, na may chance na mupo ang tiil. No? Because of venostasis, no? So, tumod ang muka, ang hindi mo circulate yung tubo, so nakita ko ng mga pasente, mga tanong, kaya tumod kay lugay kay naglingkod, naglula sa computer more than 4 to 6 hours, naghihala na ito na yung mga thrombosis sa tiil, ning bala ang muka sa tiil. Kaya wala na muli ko. Oh, so hazard yan po na. Ang enlargement of the heart, super malis po di gugma. Ang sa ikaw sa enlargement of the heart. Ang sa mga sobra sa paghigugma, labi ng dagha ng higugma. Magkadako sa kasing-kasing, umagabulsot, magabulsot sa bulsa. Okay, so, kada enlargement sa kasing-kasing, as I have mentioned, ang atong kasing-kasing mo compensate no, sa demand sa kasing-kasing. And there are two types sa pagdako sa kasing-kasing. Ang muscle sa kasing-kasing pwede mo multiply, budaghan mo baga ang muscle sa kasing-kasing. Pwede po nga mo stretch ang kasing-kasing mo na overall size sa kasing-kasing mo na ko. Uh, sa lay na terminology, we still call this two muda, uh, modifications as pagdako sa kasing-kasing or pagubag sa kasing no either hypertrophy or pagbaga sa kasikasing or dilatation pagyayas okay let me also acknowledge another uh, officer of papi sa aragon okay uh, Christian ano talo na na obviously the concentrated region na baka major chief uh, workers ba ni um, how many percent are they prone to heart diseases pa niya and then uh, Usa pa sa factor is kami kung ang tulog that can lead to heart diseases daw ang thing. That is my question. Thank you. Naging ko na ba nila na basta call center agent pati yung tawag ko nung pwede ka rin yung kape. Ang kape. Kape yung sigari ko. Yung sabot. Yung tama. Pero kung saan na yung mga nang kaya sa nangyay. So first we look at the lifestyle of our agent. So a lifestyle actually mag promote is for certain diseases. Among others, cardiovascular disease, so kanang pag shift work, no? smoking as mentioned, um, alcohol intake, coffee intake. So these are risk behavior that can increase, uh, it included of course the inactivity. Kay naglikod na nakta, inigaong na taong na nakta, wala na kay physical or moderate physical activity. So this kind of lifestyle actually promotes uh, development of cardiovascular diseases. Now, last year, I made a lecture on nocturnal hypertension, okay? Hypertension, na mong gawa sa gabi, walay sintoma during the day, maayong kaano. And it's been noticed that it is occurring in shift workers, tungod kay mawala ang atong natural na biological rhythm, okay? So it makes you prone to development of nocturnal hypertension. The problem with nocturnal hypertension is it can go undiagnosed. Because during the day, when you're kuwaan ng blood pressure, maayo lang. But actually, during the evening, it goes up and it is undetected. And prolonged hypertension, as already been mentioned, predispose to cardiac problems. So, maoni siya'y problema. Kung hindi na ito may establish ang presence of nocturnal hypertension, mumumot na siya cardiovascular diseases, mga cause kung para sa kasintasi, and then there goes complication of coronary artery disease or atherosclerosis. No? So, strong heart attack among young individuals. Kaya wala pa tayong nosuktaro na nanagay tayo nocturnal hypertension. So, again, we go back to lifestyle. No? Na, dako kayo siya ipikto sa pag-develop sa certain diseases, especially cardiovascular disease. And shift workers like call center people are also at risk for this type of uh, problems. So, you add that, nagkabantay kong tanga, naghan sa mga stroke, heart attack, mahita mo yung kakadlaw, diba? Kaya, masing na yung dibuhat, kakadlaw, or dili. Actually, mga ugin na ang trend, no? Ang pattern sa blood pressure, the urine ang dila, no? So, masaka siya yung kakadlaw, na natulog ka, so kung wak ka nakabantay, 
kadaghanan na isa ka ana ang mga kata. So, dagan kayo mag-rasa hospital early hours in the morning, no? Or in the morning, dahil ka hapon, minahini na po ng down yung blood pressure. So, may mga kata ka na normal naman akong blood pressure kahapon, no? So, it's not, no? Necessary na pagihag din ako ang 20. So, muna na anatang po yung kata 24 hour na blood pressure monitor po. No? So, panaglitan, dilita sure po. Kalau kita di kau high blood pressure dili, then we can order a 24 hour blood pressure monitor. Si butang nanti mau ada tulung ka, and we nak ya iplat nanti ya sama si. So mungkin kalau kita, oh sakit dia di sakit dia di blood pressure, oh mumbuk dia dekat blood pressure, you don't need the medication. So mana advantage, no? Okay. You know. Guess kau yang atur, mah doktor oleh analis dari Belgar, also Pak Sibu. Guess me ito mga doktor, doon na doon ito yung usang na nagpakonsulta yun siya doon noon niya, iinan sa struktur na, Sir, I'm sorry to tell you noon na kung ano yung ka, Sir, nahiluan ka, poison ka, okay, kakonsit something, poison ka. Siya, ha? Nagpoison ko? Saan sa man? Siya, we will find that out during the section. Hindi the section na may bukan, kuya wala. Tulay tayo doon. So, mo entertain ta, mo tagadas katapusan ng mga kapangutana. All about Philippine Heart Association, Cebu Chapter, ilang project, o ilang uh, advocacy. Sir Greg, na? Uh, Naging kong magugin na si Dr. Si Ma'am na uh, President nga. All year around doon na sila activities. Uh, Pag sa may concern topics nga inyong i-share ng ito sa mga katulungan, Diyos, All year round, kami sa mga media, doon na sa may mga activities. Then, ako kahang ikapahao mo kung sa ito na subject matter, normally nga inyo i-share sa different organization. Kaya kami yung mga media organization, sabi na ako, Priest Freedom Month, doon na may celebration na whole month, wherein we celebrate and different activities. Then, asa ka may makapahao sa inyong topic about culture or protection of the heart or Topics all about heart. Can we invite you? Nya, bila ada imong professional fee or pro bono benda, sebaga part of your kanan adu. Um, I mentioned this all year round. That was for February. We have a surge of activity this being the heart month. So, for February, we have and we are very happy that you have accommodated us. Nanti reach out to the media. Aduh, mas taas nama mu reach out to community, no? And then we also had a feature set uh, of print no, about our activities. But the activities in mind for February, um, we have actually divided to benefit uh, the community. We have outreach programs, more of lay forum about our advocacy. Na among na mentioned very karon. No, we have among senior citizens as kasutinga later part of the month. We also have uh, a program, a lay forum for. Elementary and high school students. Okay, we feel na preventive cardiology should start among the young. Okay, maoni sila ng sukod ng risk behavior, smoking, cigarette smoking, alcohol intake, in activity, sigi lang ng video game. No, so we also have advocacy for elementary and high school students, and then we also have programs directed for the development of our resident in training mga medical uh, mga doktor ni sila nga nag, nag train pa ang mga intern internist and family physicians in the form of uh, continuing medical education um, uh, discussions no, on certain issues we also have um, CME activities or continuing medical education activities for those na mga internist na gusto mga cardiologist and our post grad course this is actually for the cardiologists, the internists, and the family physicians, and medical practitioners, Aroma, develop, or we would know what is new in cardiology, or what is basic in cardiology. Or actually, it comes for a fee, no? Because it is a forum for, it is a convention on February 13th for medical practitioners. So, for February, our activities diverge kaya ang activities. Medical education for the medical practitioners, the residents in training, we have outreach activities for the promotion of our advocacy for as early as elementary high school. But that's only for February. All year round, siguro we can work hand in hand sa pag-promote sa, uh, what's the name? Pag-promote sa cardiovascular uh, healthy lifestyle. 
Unya ayaw ka ba lang ka? Pro bono gini. Even ang among involvement sa ang among involvement sa Philippine Heart Organization. All of us, no? We don't give me nato ang extra fee for that. It is our uh, way of giving back to our organization for each other as cardiologists and to our community and our patients. No? Okay. Uh, let me let me. Tell you again, ang atong mga panelists na si Dr. Caroline Fermin, internist cardiologist is yan. She's the president of the Philippine Heart Association, Cebu. O siya si Dr. Brent Patoktoy is the vice president, internist cardiologist ni Apollo. Uh, Apollo yung pinang si Karen, na secretary, Karen Antrino, pag-umang ko ni Master Luyloy. And let me acknowledge siya, uh, Ma'am Nancy Miracuentes. Sige, dahi, doon natin kung tayo na Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry to came late again. Yeah. <laughs> As usual. Um, my question, uh, Doc, is how detrimental is chicharon, chicharon to our health and uh, to our heart? Because uh, yesterday, to my experience, I did have a uh, heavy breakfast and uh, I skipped lunch. And uh, past in the afternoon, mga siguro mga 2 to 3, I ate almost one fourth of a kilo of uh, chicharon from Karkar. Ako siya nagihurut na enjoy ko ba? I was eating a walking, walking and around. When I come home, I was so stressed and tired. I could hardly breath. And then, parang so sticky ang fluid na circulation sa kung blood. So little calamansi about six glasses. I took it and then I drink fish oil and then. Then last day, I had a hard time. I had a fever, I had a fever, I had a fever, I had a fever, I had a temperature. So I said, you know, but it's not a poison. Because I had a teacher, I had a teacher, and I had a teacher. How did you know that? Can you advise? How did you know that? How did you know that? Okay, I had a teacher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one of the risk factors for when I identify is our cholesterol. No? So, if my cholesterol... It will take time for cholesterol. mo mo you have the cholesterol, then the cholesterol then the lead na kaayo mo paan mo deposit. So, kinahanglan na magpa-check. No, because sa iyong mga lipid profile, no? Baga may bawat taas ba iyong good and bad cholesterol, makakaon pa ba kag sitsaron or bawa na sa for now. So, it's very important na naging kayo check up. Kaya naman ito, tag cholesterol niya, luha ka pa at kay glycerin. So, LDL and HDL is the good cholesterol. But sitsaron is what gina siya, bad cholesterol. Okay? Kaya ito, ito, iyong mong yapilan po ng good cholesterol. Or ng exercise ka. Hindi ko na, bantaya na yun na daya. May kanin na yun mo, polystyrol, ako yun ang magkulateral. Ito, so bantaya na yun ang kaon yun. Yes. Nambiwa yung ikon kasing-kasing. Pinagod ko nga, gikan po ka ng December. Daghan ka yung patsyay ko, no? Matagal si polystyrol, mas patagay. Masay. Tanay mo nila na, o, kalit nila ko ba? O niya, mga na yun niya, Ang isuda ka, kulata ka ito mga bunuang mo ka. Gilipap. Oo, gilipap ka. Kung sa usap na ito na, karang probala ka sa gilipap. So, in our terminology, that's palpitation. So, pas-pas ang titik sa kasing-kasi niya. We feel of discomfort ang kasing-kasi. So, that is a palpitation. So, in our terminology, there are a lot of reasons for palpitations. Coffee being one of them. So, um, but as to whether it's a big ka or it's a huwag pamantay sa atin sana. So maybe huwag pamiling ka, it's a good treat yun. Kaya lang may ito sa coffee bitaw, no? Ang uban, nag-inom nila ang coffee, magpagpitig sila, no? Ang uban sa mga inom o coffee, aron tilig, makatog. Tungo sa kafe. Ako lahi ko, hindi ko kakape kung matuhog ko. Nakamura eh. Ay ito, mawa mo. Sa mura pa rin yun ako. This actually is a suggestion to medical practitioners, especially to those who are specializing in heart. Uh, I wish that you should strongly recommend 
to government that they will not allow food to be sold that is actually not fit for human health. I guess you can really make an influence on that because I know that our government at the moment is actually getting some kind of a, I would not say what the term is, some kind of a something now from these people who are selling these things. So I guess because you are very much conscious of health, I suppose it is important at this moment to stand for the truth. You like people to be of good health, right? And I'm sure that you treat them not because you want to plenty of money. It's because of the intention that you want them to be well for the common good. So I would like at this age in time, I know that I'm very much older than you are, so I guess experience is a year school and full school learning or other. I would like to strongly suggest, this is a suggestion, to all medical practitioners to strongly back on government not to give sanctions to food that is not right for human health. Okay, so okay, so people maybe can take a stand. Actually, so. the Philippine Heart Association, National and Civil Chapter, um, have not been amazed. No? Uh, there are a group that has been lobbying government for certain advocacies, cigarette smoking being one of them. One of our advocacies is to put the labels, uh, it's dangerous for your health, but uh, experience teaches us something. Although there are people in the organization that are lobbying for certain things to be implemented in government, one of them being a naatay defibrillator in public areas because it is a life-saving machine at times of heart attack. But we also have met difficulties working with government, but we have not stopped our efforts no, in doing that. So there is actually a body from the Philippine Heart Association National lobbying for these things, food being one of them. Right now, we're also working on the recipient type. No? We're working on the young people, the elementary and high school students. We are working on them so they can consciously decide not to choose this type of food that are hazardous for them, their health, and they can consciously choose to do our advocacy, fruits and vegetables, uh, physical activity, regular physical activity, no smoking, no sweetened drinks. So we are trying to attack the problem in different areas. So we have a lobbyist, lobbying government. We are also doing our part in terms of the recipients. We are promoting this advocacy among the community. So they themselves will choose the healthy choice in terms of lifestyle for cardiovascular, better cardiovascular health. But thank you, Madam. Okay, thank you. Dadangan pa yun nata kayo very interesting points nong nga madiskas ato mga doktor apan usak atak na naman sa ta sa atong the president of Philippine Heart Association chapter at ng Hanover, si Doctor Greg Patoy, the vice president. And the secretary, si Karen Andrino. Salamat yung kaysa niyong pagani mga doktors. Ang inyong pagdubag sa mga pangutana na mo, naka-enlighten yun na mo, naka-dadaan pa sa mga mga. Magpasalamat po kayo, Mita, po, ng inbihak o the Philippine Heart Association Civil Chapter. Magpasalamat kayo, hindi niyo na po, magitigaan niyo po na ang karong agawa to promote our advocacy sa the talk about cardiovascular health. Thank you very much, Mr. Sankosan. Okay, salamat. Salamat kayo hantong sa sunod kita sa rekord na sa tong kapu-kapu media forum dengan selamat uguai sampaian.